Gerald Ross here for lesson number three in the beginning swing uh, ukulele series. Today we are not going to learn any new chords. We're going to concentrate on the chords we learned in lesson number one and lesson number two. But we're going to learn how to enhance those chords in uh, various strumming patterns. Actually one strumming pattern. And this is a very powerful one. Uh, if you remember from lesson number one, we substituted the chords C, A minor, D minor, G7 with this progression. And the bridge, we are going from an E to an A to a D7 to a G7. And we use this for the bridge, this progression. If you don't know that progression, go back to lesson number two for the bridge and lesson number one for the first part of the song. Uh, today we are going to put open string strums in between each of the chords. And it sounds like this. Very subtle. See, it sort of anticipates the chord. That open thing sort of is like a launching board, like a springboard into the chord. And the way you do that is you strum up on the open strings in between every single chord. And then you slap down the chord like this. But I'm actually, I'm strumming the chord down twice, like this. And I'm taking my hands away very uh, deliberately. Don't do that. Try to keep your hands as close to the fingerboard as possible, and it'll make your life a lot easier. But for, uh, for this lesson, yeah, I'll show you. Now for the bridge, it's the same exact thing. You strum open, and you slap down those chords. So up to speed, it sounds like this the entire song. This I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna play an open chord in between every single chord, and listen what it sounds like. That's open between every single chord, but use a little taste. Don't do it all the time. Uh, it's, it's nice to do it at the beginning of a phrase because uh, it sort of leaves the listener's ear into uh, the phrase. And this is what it sounds like if you only played on the first chord. A bridge. Okay, that's it for today. I'll see you next time.